morning year one mrs Gopi here again and welcome to another wednesday's wonderful writing challenge i hope you're looking forward to our english lesson today so in today's english lesson we're going to be looking at how to use the different types of punctuation marks we already know so so far this year you've learned how to use a full stop and full stops are used at the end of the sentence like in the sentence, I go to school every day. We've also learned how to use a question mark and question marks are used to show when a question is being asked. Like if you ask somebody, have you eaten a good breakfast today? You would put a question mark on the end. We've also learned how to use an exclamation mark. Exclamation marks are used to show a command or a strong statement as in, I feel great today. So we might use an exclamation mark if something was exciting, scary, important or sad. There are lots of times when you can use an exclamation mark. Now, boys and girls, this is your opportunity for a little bit of a practice. This activity will allow you to practice using the correct punctuation marks. What you've got to do is look at each sentence and decide, does it need a full stop at the end? Does it need an exclamation mark at the end? Or does it need a question mark at the end? So grown ups, this worksheet is available on our website for you to download if, to download if you want your child to complete it. If not, you can always just have a look at the sentences on this video. You might want to pause the video here to give your, chance, your child a chance to either complete the worksheet or to have a look at the sentences. So give it a pause. Okay, so let's look at these sentences together. The first one is, do you like cake? Well done if you said that needs a question mark because they're asking you if you like cake. Look out. Well done if you said that that needs an exclamation mark because it's a command. It's an important sentence. They're telling you to do something. Look out. Dad is mowing the lawn. Did you say full stop? Well done if you did, because it's just an ordinary sentence. Okay. Would you like to play with me? What did you say that needed? Did you say a question mark? Well done if you did. They're asking each other if they want to play. Well done, Riley. What piece of punctuation do you think that needs? Well done if you said it needs an exclamation mark. It's an exciting sentence. She's really pleased with Riley. So we need to use an exclamation mark. Sam went down the slide. It's just an ordinary sentence, isn't it, boys and girls? So it needs a full stop. Would you like to go for a walk? She's asking her something, so it needs a question mark. Sarah went to school. Hmm, that's just an ordinary sentence, isn't it? So it needs a full stop. Be careful. Did you say that needed an exclamation mark? That's another command, isn't it? What time does the party start? Again, they're asking about the party, so it needs a question mark. I'm so excited. That sounds like a really, really excitable sentence, doesn't it, boys and girls? So it needs an exclamation mark. The bird was singing in the tree. That one just needs a full stop. So before we get started on our wonderful writing challenge today, let's go over the things we are going to use. We're going to use finger spaces, capital letters, neat handwriting, phonics, full stops, exclamation marks and question marks, conjunctions and thinking carefully about our spellings for those red tricky words. 
Now we've been really practicing today using full stops, exclamation marks and question marks correctly. So that's what I really want you to focus on in your writing today. Now, your writing challenge today is to create a joke book. So you might want to get a bit of paper, fold it in half and decorate the front. So on mine, I've just written Mrs. Gopi's joke book and I've done a picture of somebody laughing. So inside, you're going to rewrite your jokes and make sure you use the correct punctuation. So my first joke is, why did the chicken cross the road? And I've put a question mark there because that's a question. And the answer to my joke is to get to the other side. OK, my next joke, knock, knock. I put an exclamation mark there because it's making a loud noise. So I thought an exclamation mark would be a really good piece of punctuation. Who's there? I've used a question mark because it's a question. The person answers. Doctor. Doctor who? Again, they're asking a question. And they're answering, how do you know? So I've put in another question mark for that question. My next joke. What did one snowman say to the other snowman? Again, I've put a question mark for my question. And he says, can you smell carrots? And that's a question. My final joke. Why are fish so smart? Did you spot that that needed a question mark? Because they live in schools. And I put an exclamation mark there as well. Because I thought that joke was a really, really funny one. Well done, boys and girls, for all your hard work today. I'm really, really looking forward to seeing your joke books in the comments below.